Shumford. I have two daughters, and uh, my husband ceased. Some years ago, he passed when they were teenagers, so I had to educate them, get them married, and get them in homes all alone. The neighbors thought that I was spending my money on them on what he had left them, but I had a job. I worked and saved my money, and I was able to add to his, what he had left. Moved my membership, it was in Chavin, South Carolina, and I moved it to St. John's Baptist Church in Columbia during the time because it was much quicker for me to get to church of um, uh, Mrs. Wilson was a teacher at Benedict College as a co-worker at Benedict. I met her and was very impressed and I found out that her husband was the pastor of St. John Baptist Church and I became a member of his ministry. As a member, I found the members to be very cordial, and I became a part of several organizations, the Sun School, and many other ministries. When Mr. Graham came, after Reverend Wilson's death, he was a very wonderful pastor and leader. And he and one of the pastors group would always come to my house at Christmas time for a celebration. I mean, later to be called the mother of the church. May not be the longest serving member, but I may be the oldest member to my daughters. I want to prepare them to be good church workers too, because they have been in church all their lives. Even when I was at Chapin, they went to Sunday school there. Then the knowledge of the Bible is one thing I found to be very helpful in raising those two girls. They chose their own degrees when I sent them to college, and they chose their husband, which I could not manage, but they both had fine husbands and dorm family very well. As the Bible says, honor my mother and father so that the days may be long and they have been long, been long serving their mother. Even during the coding days, they would always invite me to meet their boyfriends. And of course, I always approved them. If I didn't, I wouldn't let them know. So anyway, so I wish every mother a very, very happy Mother's Day. And blessed be to their rearing their children to be fine men and women. Happy Mother's Day and blessed day to all. Good morning, St. John. I pray that each of you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I pray that all mothers, be it biological mothers, stepmothers, foster mothers, surrogate moms, special guardians, those who step in to be moms, those who desire to be moms but just hadn't um, been fruitful yet. 
I pray that you are having a great day. I want to leave, ask you a question today. My question for you today is are you being stressed or are you being stretched? I am reminded of when my kids were playing sports, gymnastics or baseball, or karate. I would sit there and wonder why is the instructor having them run around 15 or 20 minutes when I'm paying you an hour to, for the lesson? Do you know the purpose of having them run around and exercise before they begin? It is to prepare their muscles for the great task that they are about to do. Do you know why challenges come our way? Do you know why we're faced with difficult situations? That is a way for us to warm up, to prepare our faith muscles for the task that they are about to do. Do you know why Christian women and as Christian women and mothers, God calls us to be stretched, not only physically, but also spiritually. He wants us to stretch our faith in him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is like the muscles we have in our bodies. And everybody has muscles, from the little baby to the senior adults, we all have muscles. But you know what the difference is? The difference is how we use those muscles. Some people just sit around, they're complacent, and guess what, their muscle can do very little. Some people go to the gym and do what we call get buck, and they are able to do a whole lot more. Faith is like having, is when we choose to strengthen and define our muscles, we're able to use them in different ways. In order to build our muscles, we have to do several things. Eat often, eat healthy, and work out. The same principles apply to building our faith muscles. You must eat often, feast on God's word often. You must eat healthy, read your devotion, read your Bible lessons, um, read your Sunday school lessons. You must eat three hours a day. Meditate on God's word, morning, noon, and night. Work out by exercising your faith in difficult situations. Stretching is believing and trusting in God. Stretching is believing for more and stepping into the unknown. Stepping from a secure place to going deeper in God's word. Going deeper and further in what God will have you to do. Stretch, challenge yourself, go beyond your comfort zone. I would like to add another beatitude to the list of beatitudes that are currently in our Bible. Blessed are the flexible. Blessed are the stretch, for they shall not be broken. When God bends you, guess what? He's not going to break you. Stretching helps build your faith muscle. When you obey, you do so immediately. Don't stress about, well, this doesn't make sense. Well, I don't really don't know how this is going to work out. Just do like the commercial says. Just do it. If God brings you to it, guess what? He's going to stretch you and bring you through it. When God says do it, that's building your faith muscles. In no time, guess what? You're gonna be stronger, you're gonna be more fit, and when you hear God's word speak to you, guess what? You're gonna notice you do it with no hesitation. Think about the Bible stories that God has given us and as an example about stretching and being obedient. Moses obeyed God and stretched out his rod. Abraham stretched out his hand in faith, and the woman with the issue of blood, she stretched out her hands in faith. When you have a moment, I want you to read Hebrews chapter 11. I call that chapter the champions of faith. There are over 17 examples of men and women who exercised their faith and was blessed and stretched. Stretch yourself so that your name can be included in that book of champions. While you're stretching, while God is bending you, while you are toning those faith muscles, encourage, your, encourage yourself by saying this, and I want you to replace your name with my name. By faith, Yvette is a world overcomer. By faith, Yvette can do all things through Christ who strengthens her. By faith, Yvette is strengthened. By faith, Yvette is healed. By faith, Yvette will obey. Remember, when God tells you to do something, Exercise that faith muscle. Don't stress over it. Just know that you are being stretched. Amen. Good morning, St. John. My name is Ann Nickel. This is Sunday, May 9th, and these are your morning announcements. Join us via Zoom 
for virtual Sunday school and youth and adult classes. You can join us on your computer or on your cell phone Sunday, May 16th, 2021 at 9 a.m. The topic is Jeremiah, the suffering preacher. The devotional readings come from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 38, verses 7 through 13, and chapter 39, verses 15 through 18. Spotlight on youth, save the date. The third marking period ends May 16th, 2021. The deadline to submit all information online is Sunday, May 9th, 2021. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Graduating from high school or college? St. John Baptist Church and the Tutorial and Education Ministry would like to recognize and congratulate you for your accomplishments. Let us know today. Baccalaureate Sunday is June 13th, 2021. For more information, contact Sister Connie Epps at cjre at aol.com and complete the Baccalaureate Sunday online application form by May 30th, 2021. Applications may be completed at www.stjohnbaptistchurch1900.com. The deadline, again, is May 30th, 2021. COVID-19 funeral assistance is being provided through FEMA. The telephone number to apply is 844-684-6333. The hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call 844-684-633 for COVID assistance for funeral assistance applications. The Morris College Fast Track Program. It's free to all participants, tuition, room, board, books, and fees. 42 students can participate on a first come, first serve basis. The program runs concurrently with summer school from June 14th through July 27th. The Israel Brooks Foundation is now accepting 2021 through 2022 scholarship applications. Applications must be submitted online at www.ibrooksfoundation.com. The deadline for submission is July 6, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. The awards for the academic year 2021-2022 are as follows. Graduating high school seniors, first place, $1,500. Second place, $750. Third place, $500. For college undergraduates, first place, $1,500. Second place, $750. Third place, $500. For more information and how to apply, please visit our website, www ibrooksfoundation.com Richland County Rental Assistance Richland County is now offering rental assistance to residents beginning Monday, April 5th, 2021. Access to applications online or through the county's website may, may be submitted at www.richlandcountysc.gov For those residents without computer access, you may call the program's toll-free number 1-855-216-9198. Community Baby Shower, hosted by the Gethsemane Young Women's Auxiliary. This is a first-come, first-served drive through event. When? Saturday, May 22, 2021, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Where? Zion Baptist Church, 801 Washington Street, Columbia, South Carolina, 29201. Sponsorships are available. For more information, call 803-638-8177. Join us Wednesday, May 12th, May 12th 2021 for Praying with Power. Call our prayer line at 803 
573-0268. 7 a.m., Reverend Alfonso Counts. 12 p.m., Minister Lemuel Peterson. 7 p.m., Reverend Preston Wilson. Praying with power. Call our prayer line, 803-573-0268. Join us Wednesday, May 12, 2021 for Bible study on Facebook Live. Studying the Word of God. The telephone number is 803-573-0268. COVID-19 new vaccine information. Have questions about COVID-19 vaccines? Or do you need help finding vaccine providers? Call the new COVID-19 vaccine information line at 1-866-365-8110 between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., seven days a week. Or have a general question about COVID-19 Call the DHEC Care Line at 1-855-472-3432 between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., seven days a week. Messages left after hours will be returned. Best wishes to all those who are celebrating a birthday this month. Happy birthday to our four score members. Lucius Kennedy. Ozzy Dowdy, Marion Counts, Rafen Miller, Carolyn Moultrie, and Elizabeth Tresvant. Again, happy birthday to our May 2021 Four Score Birthdays. And our weekly Bible verse is 1 Peter 3 and 7, which says, In the same way, you husbands, Live with your wives in an understanding way, as with someone physically weaker, since she is a woman. Show her honor and respect as a fellow heir of the grace of life, so that your prayers will not be hindered or ineffective. And lastly, happy birthday to all the mothers of St. John. And these are your morning announcements. mother in this text has to teach us about how we can use our faith to overcome our problems, our pains, and our troubles in our lives. If you have not yet, please subscribe to our channel. And of course, those who uh, need to hear us on radio at this time, 89.5 is the, is the station. And of course, for those who are tuning in, with, uh, in, in on social media, on Facebook, please share your posts with someone else so that they can hear this great word and be delivered and set free. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand in the, thy gates, O Jerusalem. Praise God from whom our blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Let us pray. 
Oh, God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. You're our shelter from the stormy blast. And yes, you are our eternal home. We come to you, oh God, in the mighty name of thy son, Jesus, on this Mother's Day 2021, thanking you for all of our mothers. We thank you, dear God, for biological mothers. We thank you for foster mothers. We thank you, oh God, for spiritual mothers. We thank you, dear God, for adopted mothers. We thank you, Father God, for just how you've allowed uh, our mothers to nurture us and take care of us and rear us and lead us in the right path. And so we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will bless every mother under the sound of my voice. And Father, we pray that you will bless this worship service as we worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, we ask that your anointing will flow, that your kingdom will come, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So have your way, O oh God, in our lives. Have your way in this worship. Bless, Father God, every musician, every choir member. Help them to sing and play Zion songs. Sing until your power and your glory comes down. Father, we pray that your anointing will flow. And Father, we ask God that you will just have your way. Remember me least among your children. Lord, take me out of self. Down in your hidden treasures, prop me up on every weak and lean inside. Bring me up with words both old and new that have been doing all some good of the truth as the upright at heart. Help me to preach your word with power and authority, with clarity, conviction, with information and inspiration. That as I preach your word, let bodies be healed, burdens be lifted, souls be saved, saints be revived. Lord, give your people receptive ears to hear your word. Help us not only to be hearers of your word, but help us to be doers of your word. It's these and other blessings. We ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. We count it done. We claim the victory. And the people of God said amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our choir will come at this time to give us some songs of praise. morning St. John. If God has been on time for you, hit your horn. Because he's a what kind of God? He's an all, all, all time God. All right, here we go. Oh, 
me know he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Glory be to God. I don't know about you, but I experienced that this morning. We've experienced that this morning. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Trying to work with this equipment and everything. God worked it out right on time. And we praise God for being an on time God. Yes, he is. If you're sick in your body, he's an on time God. Trouble in your home, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Saints, we want to thank God for each and every one of you and how you've allowed the Lord to bless you and how you have also allowed the Lord to use you in giving up tithes and offering unto the Lord. You've been faithful in sowing the seed offerings unto the Lord and into the fertile soil of the St. John Baptist Church. And we want to give you another opportunity at this time to do so. You can give again through uh, our website, St. John Baptist Church, 1900.com, and go on to our PayPal app and give through PayPal. Or you can go on our Givelify app and give through Givelify. You maybe have a smartphone. You can pull up your Givelify app, type in St. John Baptist Church, and give as given unto the Lord. And for those of you who bought, who uh, brought your money with you today, uh, your tithes, your offering, we're going to give you an opportunity at the end of the service as you drive out. We will have uh, the trustees there waiting and they can take your offering at that time. While you're doing so, I want to also encourage uh, and remind those who have not given towards our So Send I You World Missions, uh, you can do so so that we can, again, contribute our part as a body of Christ towards the So Send I You World Mission Project. I want to also thank all of those who made this possible. Sister Karen Long as our chairperson and all those who made this Mother's Day drive up event possible. The uh, we certainly praise God for Coach Washington and the Benedict College for the parking lot ministry, the brotherhood, deacons and trustees, the nurses and emergency response team, the media ministry and the music team, the praise team, of course uh, Johnny Green and Jam's production office and staff of St. John Baptist Church, all of you, thank you for making this a great success. Hallelujah. We want to also congratulate Sister Janae Austin, daughter of uh, Sister Michelle Austin. Yes. Amen. Daughter of Sister Michelle Austin. She graduated from Benedict College on yesterday with a degree in accountant. Let's give it up for our sister Janae Austin. Hallelujah. Now I want to say happy Mother's Day to all mothers who are here. Mothers who are in your cars, please honk your horn. I want to hear you. <laughs> all right, all right. Also, if we have any visiting guests or visiting mothers here, please honk your horn. We want to hear you. All right, all right, all right. And for those who would like to join the St. John Baptist Church, you can call our discipleship line, 803-608-2332. 803-608-2332. You can call at that time. Also, we need men at the end of the service to help break down the equipment and take it back to the St. John Baptist. Check one, one, two, one, two. Amen. Saints, at this time, we want to also ask for prayers for all of our sick and shut in. We have a long list of prayer uh, for those who are asking for prayers. We ask that we continue to pray for all of them. We also ask for prayers for the bereaved families, including Coach Washington, whose brothers passed away in Arkansas, and he's there today. Also, Sister Dorothy Cunningham, Sister uh, Rose Mary Clinton. LaShonda Dillon and the Edmonds family, we certainly praise God for each and every one of you. 
Let us pray one for another. Let us keep love on board. We're going to pray over the offering at this time, and we're going to let this choir come back one more time, and we're going to bring a word from the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we come once again in the mighty name of thy son, Jesus. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us an opportunity to give as given unto you, O God. Thank you for the tithes, the seed offerings, those who've given even from their overflow. We ask now that you would bless them not only tenfold or fiftyfold, but bless them one hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that you would bless this offering, that it would be for the motivating, upbuilding, and the expansion of your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray this prayer. We say amen, amen, and amen. Our choir will come at this time. He's 
a doctor and a lawyer. My everything. My everything. My everything. My everything. My everything. My everything. He's my leaning post. Proverbs 31 and 25. Yes, you are a Proverbs 31 mother, and we praise God for each and every one of you. At this time, I want to share with you a word from the Lord. Again, we praise God for all of those who made this possible. Media Ministry, Jan's Production, all of uh, Brotherhood, parking lot ministry, all those who made it possible for us to be here today, and we praise God for this opportunity. And I won't hold you long, uh, but I want to share a word of the Lord from you, uh, from the Lord for you, and that comes from Mark, the seventh chapter, verses 24 through 30. Mark chapter 7, I'm reading from the New King James Version, and it reads, from there he arose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and wanted no one to know it. But he could not be hidden. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. Somebody say heard about him. And she came and fell at his feet. And the woman was a Greek a Syrophoenician by birth, and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to her, 
let the children be filled first. First. For it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. She answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For this saying, for what you've said, in faith, go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. And when she had come to her house, she found the demon gone out of her daughter, lying on the bed. I want to use for a theme or a thought in these pressing times and these stressful times. I want to say this to all of our mothers and even fathers at this time. Stop stressing and start stretching your faith. Stop stressing. You ought to say that to, you, to one another in your cards right now. Stop stressing and start stretching your faith. Mothers, I came here to tell you some good news today. I came to tell you about Jesus. Mary's baby, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. I came to tell you about Jesus. You see, many of you came up here today in your fine cars and your designer dresses and you're looking all blessed and highly favored, but you left some problems at home. You left some troubles and sickness at home. You left some burdens and bondages at home. In fact, you are here stressing about how you're going to make it, how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to deal with that devilish daughter, how you're going to deal with that stubborn son, how you're going to deal with that problem child, or the pain in your body, or the trouble in your life. Oh, yes, you are stressing. You're frantic. You're worried. You're fretful. You're fearful. And you're under undue stress. But I stopped by to tell you, stop the stressing, to stress no more. Stop stressing and start stretching out to Jesus. Do like the songwriter who said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, Lord, tell me where shall I go? I tell you today, I came to give you the solution to your problem. I came to give you the remedy to your pain. I came to give you the healing for your sickness and the deliverance for your bondage. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. This should be your sole purpose for coming today, to hear about Jesus. You've heard the news. You've heard all the bad news. But you came to hear about Jesus. I came to tell you about Jesus. The burden bearer.
how Jesus healed the sick, how he raised the dead, uh, 5,000 souls he fed. Uh, she probably heard uh, about how Jesus unstopped deaf ears, uh, gave sight to the blind, uh, made the lame to walk, uh, and the dumb to talk. Uh, she probably heard uh, how God uh, anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost uh, and with power, who went about doing good uh, and healing all manner of those who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Uh, she heard about Jesus. Uh, well, what happens uh, after you hear about Jesus? Uh, guess what? After you receive your faith, guess what else happens? Number two, you can stop stressing and start stretching out your faith uh, by worshiping the Lord over your life. Uh, this is what this mother is doing in the text. Uh, she stops stressing about her daughter. She starts stretching her faith uh, and her hands out uh, and praising Jesus. She stops worrying about her daughter and she starts worshiping uh, the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords. Uh, she stretched her faith out uh, to the Lord uh, who has power over the devil, who has power over the problems in her life, who has power over demons, uh, who has power over pain. Uh, say yeah, somebody. Somebody say yes. This is what worship does. It takes your mind off of the problem, and it puts your mind on the problem solver. This is what worship does. Uh, it minimizes your problems, and it magnifies the problem solver, Jesus. She falls down before Jesus. She stretches out her hands to Jesus. That's an indication that this mother is now saved uh, by faith, uh, because her because her act of falling to uh, and honoring Jesus made her Lord of her life. Uh, and that the last time I checked, uh, that's what uh, Romans ten and nine said that if you confess with your mouth uh, that Jesus is Lord uh, and believe in your heart uh, that God has raised him from the dead, uh, you will be saved. Uh, she stopped stressing uh, and she got saved. Uh, she stopped stressing and started worshiping Jesus. She stopped stressing and started stretching her hands uh, in faith towards Jesus in worship. Say yeah, somebody. Number three, she stopped stressing and repeated her faith request to Jesus. That's, the, that's the stretching your faith. Uh, when you can what? Persistent. When you, when you can be persistent in your prayer life. That's stretching your faith. Uh, that's what this mother is doing in the text. Uh, she kept on asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. Notice what it says. She kept on asking. She would not stop. Uh, she wouldn't stop making her request known unto God. Uh, she kept asking until she got a breakthrough. She kept asking like the woman, uh, I, I, like the widow in Luke chapter 18 uh, who went to that unjust judge. She kept going until she got her, her justice. Uh, she kept asking like the woman with an issue of blood uh, in Mark chapter 5. Verse 28, uh, the word of God says she kept saying, uh, if I could but just touch uh, the hem of his garment, uh, I know I'll be made whole. And that's what this woman does. Uh, say yeah, somebody. Mothers, fathers, children, don't stop asking. Don't stop making your requests known unto God. Uh, don't stop praying. For the songwriter said, just keep on praying. The Lord is nigh. Just keep on praying. He will hear your cry. The Lord has promised. His word is true. Just keep on praying. He'll answer. He'll answer. He'll answer you. Say yes. Can I tell you one thing? Can I tell you that prayer works? Stretching your faith works. I can remember my mother prayed for me. I was a very sickly young child. I remember as a child being in a bed of affliction. I had a bad bronchial infection, high fever, sweating one minute and chills the next minute. Way over in the night, my bed was soaking wet with sweat. I was squeezing and laboriously breathing, and my mother stayed up all night, uh, praying and pressing, pressing and praying, 
praying and pressing, pressing and praying. Ah, hallelujah. I did not know it at the time, but she was calling on the Lord. She was pleading my case to God. Like this woman, she kept asking, Lord, keep, uh, Lord, heal my son. Lord, deliver my son. She was stretching her faith. She kept on asking until the faith fever broke. She kept on asking until the breakthrough came. She kept on asking until her baby boy was healed. Somebody say yes. Is there anybody here who can relate to this mother? Is there anybody here who can relate to my mother? Your child was in trouble, sick in their body, strung out on drugs. Your child started hanging out with the wrong crowd. They wound up in jail. S uh, the situation was beyond your control. But somehow, some way, mama's prayers prevailed. Mama's prayers got a hold of you. Mama's prayers got through to God. Say yeah, somebody. I don't know who you are, but you may be facing something beyond your control. Don't stop praying. Don't stop stress. Don't start stressing, but don't stress it, but keep on stretching your faith to God. Say yes. And finally, and I'm going to let you go. Finally, you can stop stressing. And start stretching until you reap the results of your faith. Stop stressing and start stretching until you reap the results of your faith. This mother did not take no for an answer. She, when Jesus said to this mother, let the children be filled first. For it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Guess what? She did not take that as a no. She saw it as an opportunity of overflow. Hallelujah. She said, yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs under the table eat the kids, the children's crumbs. Hallelujah. That's not a no. That's overflow. In other words, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Say yeah, somebody. Yes, she stretched her faith and she got results. My question to you today, can you wait on the Lord? Can you wait your turn? Hallelujah. He did not say no. He just said, let the children eat first. Because if they eat first, there must be a second. There must be a third. There must be a fourth blessing on the way. There must be an overflow. That's just like overflow blessings. With my, with my grandmother's salsa, I don't know how many of you have grown up with a grandmother who used to drink coffee with a saucer and with a cup and a saucer. And hallelujah. And that's what my, my grandmother had us coffee with a, and a saucer. And that saucer was there to catch the overflow of the coffee or the tea that was usually too hot for uh, too, uh, the, the coffee was too uh, hot for the child to drink, but when the saucer catches it, it's just right, just right for that child to drink. That's just like God. God knows how to put your blessings right where you need it. Say yeah, somebody. He knows how to put your blessings where you can handle it. Say yeah, somebody. As a child, I could not drink that hot black coffee of my grandmother's cup but I could enjoy the taste of the same coffee when I got it from a saucer. Somebody say overflow. Hallelujah. So stop stressing and wait on the Lord. Wait on the crumbs. Wait on the overflow. Say yeah, somebody. I don't know about you, but this mother said I'm not going to stress. Uh, I'll be satisfied with the crumbs. Uh, I'll be satisfied with the overflow that falls from the master's table. So wait on the Lord, saints. Uh, wait on the crumbs. Uh, wait on the overflow. Because I heard David said, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Say yes. Say yes. I heard Isaiah said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Uh, say yes. Say yes. So keep on stretching. Stretch until your breakthrough comes. Stretch until your healing comes. Stretch until your deliverance comes. Stretch until your child is saved. Stretch until your marriage is restored. Stretch until your joy is renewed. Stretch until God brings a blessing in your life. Somebody say yes. Say yes. Say yes. That's what Jesus said. They hanged him high. They stretched him wide. He died for your sins. He died for my sins. But I'm so glad no devil in hell could keep him down. Early, early, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power, all power, all power in his hand. Say yes. Say yes. Whoa, yes. Glory, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So stop stressing and start stretching your faith. Let the Lord handle your problems. Let the Lord handle your pain. Let the Lord deal with your troubles. He's able right now. And for those of you who may not know him from the free pardon of your sins, like this woman in the text, she was not born as a child of Israel. She wasn't born as a Jew. She wasn't born in the church. She was an outsider. She was lost. She was a Gentile heathen. But she heard about Jesus. And she received Jesus as the Lord of her life. And because of that, she kept stretching her faith until not only was she saved, but her daughter was saved. Her household was saved. And God wants to do the same for you right now. All you have to do is come now, repent of your sins, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and that God has raised him from the dead. The Bible says you will, you shall be saved. For those of you who are accepting him right now, I'm going to ask that you repeat after me as you pray this prayer of repentance, as you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Repeat after me, Lord Jesus, Thank you for your saving grace and your tender loving kindness in that while I was yet a sinner, in due time Christ died for me. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Fill me with your spirit. And I'm confessing right now that you are Lord of my life. I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead. And right now, I receive you as my Savior. My friend, if you, repented, if you repeated that prayer and if you believe in your heart, you're saved right now. Let us continue to pray for those who are in need right now. Father, we come once again in the mighty name of thy son, Jesus. We thank you for our mothers. We thank you for the faith of our mothers. Holy faith. Righteous faith powerful faith, delivering faith. We thank you for the faith of our mothers. And we pray right now that you would strengthen their faith, that you would help them to keep the faith, that you would give them the power to stretch out on faith so that their families will be healed, their marriages will be restored, their children will be delivered, and their whole household will be saved. Bless now as only you can bless. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will remember those who are on our prayer list, the sick and the shut-in. We ask a special prayer for Marcus Jenkins right now, that you would touch and heal his body, that you will remember all those on our prayer list, Deacon Frierson, 
And all those who are on our prayer list, touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask God that you would deliver, that you would heal, that you would set them free. Touch us to glory, Weston, Odie Tribble, Massey Rose, Dorothy Friday, Patricia Simon. We ask that you would touch Sister Mae Evans, Brother Charles Thomas Brooks. We ask God that you would touch Sister Isadora Blambright, Sister Dorothy Cunningham, Brother Patrick Marion, Reverend Gregory Daniels, Brother Ra Ra Rafen Miller, Reverend Janie Snow. We pray for those who are in bereavement. Comfort their God. Brother Coach Washington and his family right now, the Edmonds family. We pray for the Dillon family. We pray for Sister Rose Mary Clinton and family. We ask for the blessings upon the Cunningham family. Lord, let your blood cover from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Knowing, God, there's power in your blood, healing in your blood, deliverance in your blood. We pray that you would let your blood cover and bind up that affliction. Bind up right now that high blood pressure. Bind up that tuberculosis. Bind up that diabetes. Bind up that COVID-19. Bind up that heart disease. Bind up that kidney disease. Bind up every cancer in the name of Jesus. And we ask that you would loose your anointing, loose your healing, loose your blood over them right now. Heal in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we want to thank you that even as we speak, you're moving by your power, pulling down that high blood, regulating that diabetes, drying up that cancer, easing that pain. We thank you that you're touching and comforting that bereaved family. We thank you that you're opening doors for those who are in a financial bind. Open that door to that new job, that new promotion, that new opportunity. Shut the door of poverty, disappointment, discouragement, knowing you can open doors that no man can shut. You can shut doors that no man can open. Bless right now. Deliver right now. Set the captives free right now. We pray for our nation. We pray for the president. We pray for the governor of our state. We pray for the mayor of our city. We pray for our community. We pray for St. John. Bless every household. Bless all those on social media. Have your way right now. And we'll forever give your name the praise, the honor, the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We count it done. We claim the victory. And the people of God said amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Saints, we're going to give the benediction. Our choir is going to come, and they're going to sing, and we're going to ask you to be directed by the parking lot ministry. They'll let you out one row at a time. I'm going to try to meet you over there and greet you. Happy Mother's Day. May God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. We love you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace, shalom, health, healing, wholeness, prosperity, success, long life with satisfaction until we meet again. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. We love you. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God, sing hallelujah to our God, glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Let's do that. Every praise, every praise.